Hey everybody, so as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for all of our Divine Feminines, alright, so all of our DF, Empress, High Priestess, Energy only. If you in any way at all identify as a Divine Masculine hunty, you can go ahead and get out because this reading right now is not for you. Yay, yay. <laughs> Let us go ahead and jump into it. So first of all. A little bit of stubborn energy as we're shuffling the deck, okay? This could be you, this could be your person, all right? Someone is having a really difficult time surrendering, okay? They are wanting to surrender. However, this is just someone that is used to being stubborn. So that's what they're doing. They're being stubborn, all right? Let us see. What are the messages here for our feminines? Thank you, spirit. Okay, we have the justice card. Hmm, things balancing themselves out. Something is falling into place or happening at the right time. The devil. Someone is being exposed. I mean, everybody is being exposed. Everybody who is not of pure heart is being exposed. Everything that is not of pure intention is being exposed. For you and your twin, yeah, we have the moon. This is secrets, things being exposed, things coming out. Okay, let us see. Oh, okay, got a few here. Six of Pentacles in reverse of all placements? In reverse. Okay, so something is one-sided or something is... Hmm, like somebody is giving much more than they are receiving in a situation. It doesn't feel like it's with you, though. You get what I'm saying? Or with them. Put it in whichever way it goes. But it's somewhere else with whatever this energy is. Okay? The secret, the truth is, Four of Wands, home, is elsewhere. Two of Swords is allowing spirit to lead again this is not something that this person is comfortable with doing all right they're very stubborn which is allowing them to be stuck in some sort of way that's what it feels like the energy is really interesting the way these cards are shuffling okay eight of cups it's like they're no longer emotionally involved in whatever this is but they're still there their feet are not moving yeah see the hanged one or the hanged man Six of Cups, something about memories, nostalgia, past life energy could also be some sort of karmic debt. Two of Swords and the Hermit. You hear this person, you hear their heart or they hear your heart, whichever way it goes. So it's like someone is hearing everything that is not being said. Again. Okay. Queen of Swords, yes, it's you. This person is reading you like a book. Okay. Really interesting. Really interesting. Okay, so some of you may be pulling back because you feel like this person is giving themselves away to a situation that is... Mm, okay, so we're just going to leave that there because we don't have nothing nice to say. Don't say nothing. And then on your end, for a lot of you, there's something here where maybe you're giving yourself away to it way too much you're giving way too much okay um, this is really interesting twins always marry each other boy i swear so with the eight of wands and the nine of pentacles it's like you guys are rapidly moving towards being independent you know being single being on your own if you are not already or this person is okay so like i said someone is already emotionally detached from whatever the situation is but their feet have not moved yet okay so we have the Seven of Pentacles and we have the Tower. Exactly. Someone is waiting. Waiting on what? I guess a Tower moment. That's what's going to happen. You know, they're like, I'm just going to sit here and chill. La -di -da -di -da, until Spirit comes. And Spirit is like, oh yeah, that's what we're going to do. You know, so Spirit makes this person so uncomfortable that it's like now they move their feet. You know? So yeah, we have the Ten of Swords. Someone is remembering when they betrayed you in the past. Or uh, you could have betrayed them in the past. Someone is remembering this. Five of Swords, Ten of Swords. I mean, there's no other way to put that. Okay, let us see. We have the Two of Swords and the Hermit. The Seven of Swords. So this is what someone is not telling you. Okay, the Sun card. But they will bring to your awareness. Like I said, something is coming out. 
Okay, so put it however it goes in whichever way you need to for the story. You got the Five of Cups, okay? Something, um, mm, it's something about regret here, but it doesn't feel like it's coming from the masculine. Six of Swords is like a distance or a space. Someone could feel like they are going to put distance and space between them and their masculine. Or they have and it's something that they regret. One or the other. Okay, like you're like, oh my gosh, no, why did I do that? <laughs> okay. Um, hmm, really interesting. Okay, let us see the devil. What is this? Two of Cups. King of Swords. Yes, yeah, so the masculine, okay, which take the sex out of it, but we have a pair. The King and Queen of Swords are both on the board, okay? So you're feeling how you're feeling because of whatever took place in the past. And they're feeling how they're feeling because of it. And it's allowing things to be un not un unbalanced, okay? Which is mm, giving you guys this kind of like... <sighs> Again, like, for lack of better words right now, there's an elephant in the room. <laughs> Again, so tower moment, okay? The hierophant, because the spirit is like, listen, we're going to address it or no? Okay, we have a lot of love here. We're going to say something about it or no? We're going to keep holding back? We're going to keep acting like we have forever to come towards our perfect match? Look, the king and queen of swords, the king and queen of cups, I am done with y'all. I'm done with y'all. And there's a brand new beginning here on the table. Okay. This person wants to date. The emperor wants to date. They want to make this offer to you. Let's build. You get what I'm saying? This feels like a missed opportunity. And I want to do that. Okay. And feminine, you have your own thoughts. You have your own sentiments, girly. You know what I mean? So it's like, listen. Okay. Perhaps there needs to be some sort of conversation or something. Yeah. Three of Pentacles work together. Collaborate. Twin flames, you are that. You feel that. They feel that. That is agreed at this point. It's like, okay. <laughs> All in favor, say aye. Both of y'all like aye. You get what I'm saying? Because <laughs> you're in favor. You agree. Yeah, the runner is agreeing. They are seeing what you see. They see it now. Okay? So they understand where this whole ice cold energy came from. It didn't just come from nowhere. They understand. Yeah, Cupid's arrow, the chaser. Hello? They understand. They see it. They understand why you do the things you do. Why you put the space and the distance between you two. You know, because you feel like, hey, I'm not going to chase you. And this person is like running away and everything. No, we're not doing that. If the energy is here, Cupid's arrow, if love is here, right, we should have faith in it instead of running and then somebody got to chase you. Nobody's doing that, you know, and it was just 0808 on the timestamp. So I think that's what both parties are realizing. Take the think out of it. <laughs> you know, I feel like that's what both of you are realizing. We have clock here. So something about time, divine time. You took the time to heal or you're taking the time to heal right now. Okay. We have twin flames. Again, lightning. That's the tower energy. Sudden change. Okay. Shocking news. Surprise. Epiphany. Upheaval. Transformation. Your twin feels like, yes, absolutely. This is the person and then you feel like yes absolutely this is the person so both people are on one accord both energies are on one accord okay talking this is something that both parties are going to confess or admit to is what it feels like interested conversing more awaited message arrives text call email hovering Someone enjoys talking to you. They also like when you reply quickly. That's what I'm getting. Or you like when they reply quickly. One or the other. Because it's talking is right next to lightning. So, you know, that's just. I feel like this person sits there and they're waiting. Like, la di da di da You know, because they enjoy talking to you. So, it's like, where you at? Where you be at? You know? <laughs> ah, that's so funny. Someone could be looking at your photos, missing you, having nostalgia. They want to make new memories with you. Okay, this is so cute. Aww. The dragonfly. 
All right, so it says be lighthearted, finding out, things come into light, adapt, change, heal. Okay, okay. So if someone realizes in what way it could have came across as them gaslighting you, okay, where it's like a, they're up in your face trying to get some attention from you, then pew, you don't know where they at. They're up in your face trying to get some attention from you, then pew, you don't know where they at. So, of course, that comes across some, some sort of way, like what they call it, love bombing. And then when you bring it up to act like they don't know what you're doing, right, gaslighting, there you go, boom. But it's just like, sir, ma'am, no, you know, let's not. It's the perception that they had or the point of view, okay. We have let your friends help you. Maybe they've been talking to their friends, okay, uh. Or someone that they trust, maybe. Okay. We have retreat. And this person or these people, whichever way it goes, have been advising them to spend some personal time with you to see how they feel. You know, you can't really know how you feel until you know how you feel. So once you do, trust it. That's the second time that trust is coming out. We have healing family issues, and I feel like that's something that keeps coming up as well. As you forgive your parents, your love life, you know, receives benefits. Yeah, look at this. Pay attention to the red flags. Okay, what are the red flags? Hmm, if you feel like a person going to keep running, going to keep doing this, I, you know. Yes, you can forgive them. Yes, you can learn a lesson. But is that someone that you really want to be with? So for some of you, you're going to be releasing this person, even though it has been confirmed. That this is your twin, even though you know, even though they know, even though everybody know <laughs> that this is your twin is still going to be like, all right, thank you for the lesson. And the reason I say that is because in the event that they never heal their inner child, they never do the spiritual work or in the event that it just never happens a certain way where someone does move their feet for real, because we see the energy. Remember, these readings are picking up on the energy that is present, right? So in the event that that energy shifts, which it will, because energy is always changing, people don't take advantage of the energy right now and make these decisions, certain things will shift. And we can't force these people to do anything, right? So some of you are going to be like, you know what, pew, while others of you are going to receive that, you know, cooperation and accountability and someone wanting to put you in a very secure position in their life, you know? So it just depends on your person and where they are and what they're willing to do. You know, some of them are aware, again, that they're your divine masculine, but what does that really mean? And in the event they don't know what it means or they don't agree with it or whatever the case may be, then how is that going to work for you, right? So these are things to think about. Um, that could be one of the red flags or some of the red flags, okay? But it says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So the time has come to clear your energy. Again, if this is not talking about your person, it could also be talking about um, the ex or whoever this person is with the six of pentacles in reverse that either you or them are letting go of. You get what I'm saying? Uh, whichever way it goes, somebody is being released, okay, by a small group of you, okay? Either this person that uh, is a karmic to you with that devil and justice energy or this person personal choice personal preference right but anyhow <clears throat> hmm mm -hmm. okay what uh, confusion connection they are confused about the connection let go you see what i'm saying some of you are going to end up letting go because yes we have these past lives together they have these memories they have these flashbacks they don't know where they don't know how they don't know why they feel so close to you for a lot of you because there's certain conversations you've never had certain things you've never done but they have these memories remember that photograph card so it's like where's all this coming from what what did you do to me like this person feels really weird they feel really creeped out and that's again for a small group of you for others of you Energy is super cute. You know, it's litty, lit, lit. Person is ready. They ready to reunite. They're ready to come into union. Again, different strokes for different folks, okay? But if this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hate.